everyone. It's me, Lufisra. I'm back to play uh, more of Chronicles of Mystery, the Tree of Life. So... I forgot what I wanted to say. I wanted to say something, I don't remember what. It's about this game, why do I not remember? I, I'll come to my mind eventually, I think. Oh yeah, I remember now. Okay, so I was editing the video uh, for the first part of this playthrough, right? And I realized that the the lady that was with the guy who got killed, it, it wasn't Sylvie. I thought it was Sylvie because it looked so similar, but it wasn't Sylvie. It was just a random girl. Yeah. And the guy who got killed uh Marcel. At least that's what the walkthrough said. I was peeking at like the wink the walkthrough and the wiki and everything. Uh because I I was like writing like the description for that video because I have that video like uh scheduled. And yes, I finished uh, adding the first part of this the video of this playthrough already. But okay, so now you got the map copy. I can't talk right now. Oh can't talk right now because I already talked to him, okay. What about her? You won't believe it, Claire. You've opened the chest? I did. I did much more. There's a secret compartment in which I found a manuscript, possibly by Ponce de Leon himself. You're kidding me. What's more, there was a map sewn into the manuscript. Lucky you. What's on it? Uh, some islands. I don't recognize them. If only Marcel had managed to. I'm sorry. Claire, did Marcel tell you- I'm really sorry about Marcel. Appointment? What appointment? You know, on that day. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry, I want to solve uh, because it's all this suspicious. murder. But if you don't I think it's a murder, it, at least. I know how you feel. I mean, I, I know it's a murder. I saw the, the cutscene in the beginning. Smoke. Here? Detectors are off. I don't want to get soaked again. I wasn't here on that damned day, you know? Don't torture yourself. It wasn't your fault. I packed my things and I went to my sister's. That was the end. So she might feel a little guilty or something? You split up? We were like cats and dogs for weeks. Like every year. I don't like the winter here. <laughs> yeah, she did say it wasn't a, like a great relationship. Like there are a lot of ups and downs. told you that the recording said you will know Claire? Damn. He didn't believe that you left him. He was a cold bastard. I was only like a stimulant, like coffee or cognac. Yeah, I was somewhere in between. You really think so? Nope. I'm just mad he passed away like that. For good. And I can't do anything about it. His death, it, it doesn't make any sense. None whatsoever. Why did it happen? Oh, I'll keep wondering till the day I die. If only I had some hint. Maybe the man he met. Did he write to him? I saw some letters in his secretary, but I didn't want to think about it then. You think that stranger pushed him off the cliff? Yes, I the think so. Considered it. And? Oh well, yeah, wait. I guess. You know what? <laughs> Take the key to the secretary and check key? those letters. Marcel died because he was got pushed off the cliff. Away. Thanks. He wasn't shot with a dart, so who, so who died? In the beginning. Because the wiki said it was Marcel, but it's not Marcel. Take care. I'm so confused Remember, now. I always have time for a chat. Yet. Yeah, turn up the music a little bit because it sounded like really quiet in the video. But I guess I'll turn it down again. Secretary key. Okay, finally I can open the secretary top. I was trying everything. <laughs> okay. Not pencil. Die. Better. Rummaging through someone else's documents feels awful, but it's the only way. Did the author of the letter meet Marcel? Dear sir. I would like to propose a meeting in order to discuss a recent purchase of the Maritime Museum. I was informed in Paris that the chest bought at the auction in 
Southern Bees. I am mispronouncing that really badly. I'm sorry. I'm butchering that word. It's now in your hands. My representative was bidding for it on my behalf, yet redrew too soon, apparently not having understood my instructions. I'm an amateur of old items with historical value. I'm the ones, I mean the ones related to other people, events which have become embedded in the collective memory of humankind. I expect that the, uh, the competent people from the museum, including yourself, are well aware of the fact that the chest has a truly interesting past and is an incredibly surprising one. I must say, of which I have uh, varied evidence. As an advocate of truth, I cannot hold these revelations under my hat. I, for my part, count only on the possibility of a close examination of the chest, from which I hope not only I will benefit. I'm looking forward to receiving a prompt reply since I have planned to begin an engrossing journey shortly, and quite naturally, I will not be able to remain in contact with you with you for a okay I got cut off from there okay that's fine who did Marcel meet the notes can give me the answer yes this is it this chess such a wonderful topic the feel of warm timber, meticulous silver handicraft, is smoothed out over the centuries. The combination lock, a masterpiece in itself. I'm examining this purchase from every possible angle. I'm absorbing its exotic aura. Richly ornamented, well preserved, it almost smells of a 16th century adventure. That's right, an adventure. Though that woman never understand that I'm not synced with her alternating cycle of feeling the blues and feeling high, and that she can't turn to me with every single unfinished thought, treating me as if I was taking part in her interior monologue. Thank God she moved out to her sister for some time. Nobody's going to bother me. I miss Claire drawing classes. You're the best proof that love also needs a shape. What a torture. Trying to find an adequate line and at the same time trying not to approach Claire and hold her in, her in my arms. So vulnerable, so delicious. This man is weird. Marcel is weird. He's, he's so off. Like At one moment, she's like, thank God he moved away. And in a moment, she's like, ah, I miss her. Like, she's, he's complicated. He's complicated, I think. It's the best thing I could say about him. Tension arises where there are contrasting forms, where there's a conflict. That's why I think she'll be back, and by leaving, she's preparing a stunning and breathtaking return. I'm meeting the antiquity lover at the inn. I don't really know what he's expecting to get out of it. I'm amazed at such people's insolence. They think their money or connections are enough to march head on into my workshop. Rummaging, sniffing, touching. Yeah, uh, okay. So it, it cuts off. Okay. Who is this antiquity lover? Is he responsible for Marcel's death? I wonder if the Count and the man Marcel had a meeting with are one and the same person. They could be. They are suspicious, nonetheless, given everything we know. Was the Count that stranger Marcel had a meeting with? Possibly. We'll find out later anyway, so let me just put the cartridge in. I was thinking it was going to take a while, but apparently I think it's going to finish. As I stand here and stare at it. Yes. Don't have a cutscene like that. I keep thinking that something's going to gonna come out like someone's gonna like appear from behind me and knock me out I'm afraid the copy isn't too durable because it's far of course
What can I do with this? Can I bake it? Make it durable? What, do, what does he want to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with this? Okay, phone call. Yes, we have the test. It is a treat indeed. Okay, it's you not our phone call. It. So it happens. I agree. Its story is very interesting. Ponce de Leon. Are you serious? Please, come and share these revelations with us. In Venice? It's a shame. Hold on a second. Our colleague Sylvie LaRue is headed there. Oh my god, please don't mention our name. Yes, she is going to deliver a lecture at the Scuola de Santa Croce that evening. Young but competent, she's the one working on the chest. Why are you saying that to some stranger? Anymore. Don't say that. Our soldiers Fine, got killed. You have an appointment then. Goodbye. What the fuck? Go yourself. What the hell? Our soldiers got killed. It could possibly be because of the chest and you just pushing us into danger? What the fuck's wrong with you? I've got nothing to discuss. Goodness sake. Did you find anything in its secretary? A letter from a certain Got Count cut off. Germain. Yep. Some collector? He wanted to talk to Marcel about the chest. That could have been him. I'll try to look into it right after I come back. Leaving already? Venice. I'm delivering a lecture there to promote Scorpio Ritual, my book about the Knight's Hospitaller mystery my uncle and I uncovered. Oh yeah, this is the first game. Love to go mm -hmm. with you. Pack your bags then. Come along. Ah, oh, damn it. I promised the boss I'd finish the painting this week. I'll help you as soon as I get back. The Carnival of Venice. That was our mutual dream. You see, I just can't. Not without Marcel. But you have a good time. Thanks. See you. Aw, oh, Claire, why? Go out and see the world for Marcel. Don't be cooped up here with that stupid director. When are you leaving? First thing in the morning. Straight to Venice? Via Paris, just to repack. See you. Have a great time, and be back soon. Okay. Talking to her. What do I do with this? The innkeeper is totally unlike the janitor, yet they somehow complement each other. Yeah, two best friends. You need a person like the innkeeper to keep uh, the dude, you know, like the janitor on the ground, like down to earth. Yeah, because he is all up in his head. Which I understand. You know, I, I'm sort of like a, a fantasizer, imag uh, imaginative person myself. You know, I fantasize about a lot of things. But you need control. The janitor doesn't have control. Was Marcel here last week? Oh, yes. Then. Then, uh, on the day he died? No, he wouldn't fall down during the day. At night. Was he alone? No, he would rarely come alone. Usually with Claire. Ah, so he was with Claire. I haven't said that. He came alone. I thought he had an appointment. Possible? That strange man was already waiting for Okay, what strange man? What did he look like? I cannot tell you. There was nothing distinctive about him. He was sitting in a dark corner. I didn't even see him coming. Did they order anything? How do you not he see him? Said, he You're standing at the, the door all day. They left together? Yes, there was a raging storm outside, but they left. You can't avoid your destiny. Okay. So, that guy might be responsible for Marcel's death, is what we're getting at. Will true friendship weather all the storms? What do you think? I don't know. If it doesn't, then is it really true? And if it isn't true, is it really French? Perhaps it doesn't demand great effort to check it. Just enough to walk to the castle? The way 
to the castle and from the castle is exactly... Oh, come on, you guys knew each other for so many years. See ya. Maybe. The innkeeper suggests a weird stranger might be responsible. But can I trust his account? The dramatic events of that night took place right here. How about examining this place more closely? Oh, finally! I want to examine it from the moment I stepped out here. Hey, what's that? This is too narrow. I can't reach any further. I need something. An interesting motif. A tree. This coin is unique and looks very old. Okay. Is there anything else here? Nope. Okay, we're getting visions again. We're getting visions again. Start Marcel. Oh, that disturbing vision. Was it the varnish fumes? Uh, nope. It's probably like your superpowers. I mean, uh, in the first game, she gets visions too. She sees all these visions about uh, the Scorpio ritual, you know, you know, and everything, you know, the tablet and stones and stuff. Yeah, so that that's just her powers doing the talking. Stone wall. Oh, this is what I was looking at. Okay, I thought I was looking at this area. Apparently, it's a stone wall. Okay, can can I give this to him to uh, like? No, you can't bake it for me or anything. Fine, that's fine. That's fine. I don't really know what to think of it all. I'm afraid the count might be behind Marcel's death. On the other hand, I should pick up the gauntlet and try to solve this case. We can do both. We can do both. I think it's connected. I have a feeling it's connected. Okay, let's talk to the janitor. Let's put this conversation off. Okay, we don't need to talk to the janitor. All right. An ancient coin with a sophisticated emblem of the Tree of Life. Perfectly preserved. Nice. A verse is covered with linear A script. Who could have lost such a precious rarity? Yeah, who just left it there and didn't notice that it was gone? I can't talk right now. Okay, I can't talk to him right now. I can't talk at the moment. Can't talk to her either. Oh, can I put varnish? Think, Sylvie, think. Oh, no. Okay. I still don't know why I need to use the varnish for him. Think, Sylvie, think. No can do. Now the copy is durable enough to survive even a long journey. I need to use a varnish. Okay. Okay. Anything else with the chest? Nothing else, I think. This won't work. Okay, yeah, I don't want to take that back. So put it back in the gun. Of course not. I'll just leave it like that. Anything else I could do here, or can I leave? They confuse. I'm just gonna look at everything just in case I miss something. Closed. I get. I have the key. Don't worry. Yeah. That that looked like this. Okay. Nothing else I can look at. Um, all right. Do I want to show him this coin? Or maybe... Maybe I can ask the innkeeper about the coin. Can I ask the innkeeper about the coin? 
I don't know what I should ask about. The coin. I guess not. I guess she's like, nope, nothing else to talk about. So let's look at that stone wall one last time. Right, nothing. Okay, nothing to look at here. I didn't miss anything. Because that happens sometimes with these games. And then janitor, nothing to talk about with the janitor. Right now, I've got nothing to discuss. Okay, nothing to talk about with the janitor. Marine exhibits look. I get it, I get it. I've just received a phone call. It was a certain Saint Germain, a collector. Saint Germain? He wants to attend your lecture. Oh, for Venice. fuck's sake. How does he know so much about me? Has he left his number? No. I wouldn't underestimate him. He may add something to the story of the chest. He's gonna kill us, isn't he? He's gonna try and kill us, I'm sure of it. In the 19th century? Rings a bell. At the Scuola di Santa Croce. That's where my lecture is taking place. You see? It all starts to fit into place. Good luck. Just make sure you come back here. Thanks. I will be back for I will sure. try my best. I will try my fucking best. This girl is very nosy. I'm counting on her. She's that interesting? As bait. Yeah, it Beautiful gets cut off sometimes. Or the carnival, I guess. And she ties up her hair, okay. Hello, I'm Sylvie LaRue. I'm so glad that you are here. Uh, welcome to the humble. Yeah, we're gonna be so in danger. Society. They're gonna try to kill us, I'm sure of it. I'm wondering where my lecture is going to take place. Right next to us in the meeting hall, Androni as we call it. In the past, the donations were collected there. Now it's the place of lectures and concerts. It's going to be a pleasure to meet my readers in such interesting surroundings. That's true, the hall has its unique atmosphere. I'd like you to take note of the recess to the right. Oh, what's so special about it? There's a marble tablet with a nonsensical Latin inscription. A supposedly profound meaning is hidden in those randomly arranged letters. Oh, it's a riddle. Tourist attraction. Correct. I encourage you to have a look at it after the lecture. You're suspicious. I'm Maybe suspicious right of you. Ah, the soul of an adventurer gets the upper end. Well, I've got a very tight schedule. No time to waste. Won't you be distracted before the lecture? It's Quite fine. Nice. I'm well prepared, but it'll calm my nerves instead. Stage fright? I'm afraid so. I can assure you that everything is ready. Uh, try not to think about the lecture for a while and just have a look around the building. Okay. Oh, it's magnificent in here. I love Venice. The I haven't really seen the Venice, though. Dazzling. This place used to belong to the Squalor, a confraternity stemming from the Middle Ages. A grand building. Not the music is suddenly really loud here. I don't know why. Them all together. This was the unofficial seventh one. Unofficial? Yes. Uh, for instance, despite its name, there was never a relic of the true cross in here. The confraternity of St. John the Evangelist, one of the great six, had it. Those institutions had a large influence over the burghers. Uh, thanks to them, they were not only able to perform, so to speak, uh, statutory tasks, such as helping their brothers and their families, but they also could satisfy the need for prestige and shape the policy of the Republic. Prestige in Venice had to be pretty expensive. Oh yes, uh, surely you've heard of the Tintoretto paintings adorning the Scuola Grande di San Rocco. Naturally, outstanding works. Hey, what about the ravishing interiors of the Scuola Grande di San Marco? The brothers who provided for our building couldn't really equal those, but uh, the architectural concept is similar. What happened to the Scuola later on? Well, along with the fall of the Republic, everything started to change. Even the Carnival tradition was relinquished. Do you know who ordered it? I don't know. 
not even close. It was that tyrant Napoleon who dissolved the major council in... Well, darn that Napoleon. Our society originated from the squalor in the 19th century, adopting a scientific and cultural character. Okay. At the Maritime Museum, I'm working on a chest that belonged to Ponce de Leon. The director mentioned that it used to be stored here. Correct. His chest was right there, in the meeting hall. Can you tell me something more on the subject? When in 1521 the conquistador died in Havana of a wound inflicted by an Indian arrow, a legends about his chest started to circulate. It was said that it contained a map showing the location of the Fountain of Youth. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Whose hands did it fall into? The views on this matter are divided. Some say Hernando de Soto obtained it. I incline to the hypothesis that De Leon left the chest in Seville. He gave an account of his journey there in front of the clerks from the Casa de Contratación, who prepared guidelines for Spanish sailors. Was Padron Real produced there, that famous map? You're absolutely right. The official and secret master map of the New World. Does anybody know what happened to the chest then? Possibly it was on one the Austrian ship during the Battle of Lepanto, when he led the Holy League fleet to victory. In the whole commotion, the chest must have ended up on one of the Venetian galleases uh, participating in the battle. Hmm, by coincidence? Whether by coincidence... I'm not... I'm quiet order, because I know I don't what to say. The fraternity of the True Cross took it over. The this is all going over my head. Away, since totally. the Austria kept on searching for his lost property. In any case, uh, he wasn't the only one after the legendary map. It was believed to lead to the Fountain of Youth? Such were those days. The most ambitious individuals were looking for El Dorado, the Philosopher's Stone, or the Fountain. And the brothers? They had prestige. The more they denied having... Ah, yes, I heard the greater of those three before. Hmm. And what happened to the chest later on? They emptied the cash during the Napoleonic Wars. The chest was hastily moved to a different, a safer place in the city. Where was that? Too? Mm, unfortunately, no. Our guardian Grande, who moved the chest, was murdered soon after. Ah! Oh, damn. Oh, yes. Given what we have seen in the cutscene, I can imagine who they were murdered by, what organization, right? Have my books arrived? Yes, they're here. A beautiful edition. They still smell of printing ink and success. Why, thank you. What large an audience do you expect? I'm certain many people will come. We have our own regular audience, and apart from that, we advertise the lecture as a huge event. You can expect many people. <laughs> Thank you for your encouragement. Relax. Everything will be just perfect, huh? I hope. Certainly. This time, I won't pay the same price for success. Hmm. You mean your uncle's death? A much regretted loss. Yeah, uncle. Oh my God, life uncle. Has to go on, and Ooh, your uncle would I'm be I'm not so over it yet. Thank you. I do believe that. Fuck you, James Anderson, for shooting our uncle. Damn you. What events have you planned for the immediate future? A lecture and an exhibition about the birth of the Latin Empire. Oh, a very interesting topic, and related to the city as well. Hmm, that's the point. Uh, and then a more exotic series of lectures about Atlantis, uh, from analyzing Plato's dialogues to presenting archaeological finds in the field. That's debatable. I know, I'm still preparing the list of lectures. Uh, perhaps uh, you could help me with it. I'll think about it and let you know when I'm in France. I'll be obliged. Let's hope you're a good guy. May I have a look around the hall? But of course, please do. The last I person I trusted was James, and he was an asshole. Him. Okay, let me take a look around, because he said we can look around. I'm going to sign my books after the lecture. Let's hope somebody is interested. Ah. Just left our purse here and grab a book of ours. It's not a great idea. Okay, we don't want to sign our own book. We're not that like of a narcissist that wants to sign a copy of our own book and be like, ah ha ha, I carry it around with us. Out of my book with a lecture agenda. Okay. Let's go upstairs first then. Classical statues, oil paintings, and heavy draperies are in stark contrast to the austere stone walls. This gives off like Goza Thornton Hall vibes. 
Once again. Yes, just take that. Take the curtain too, because why not? We just take everything. I don't even know why we're taking it yet, but we're taking it anyways. Okay. They weren't painted by a renowned master, but they still represent the good old Venetian school. Nice. They weren't painted by... Okay, okay. Okay, I can go further up. Is this a trap door? I'm curious what they use this trap door for. Something's blocking the lid. Oh, the nails. I need to remove the nails. Something's blocking the lid. I guess I'll need to get a hammer or something to remove the nails. No can do. It's not a great idea. Not sure what I need these for yet, but... Oh well. Let's go to the meeting hall. Great acoustics. A perfect place for a lecture. Colorful stained glass windows add luster to the austere interior. Oh, uh, this reminds me of the stained glass windows that I saw when I was in Vietnam at the church. They're really beautiful, actually. Especially when lightning shining in on them. The interior it's was beautiful. furnished this way, so as not to distract the audience. Oh, okay. The exhibition of archaeological tools from a bygone era will complement my lecture. The showcase is closed. Of course it's closed. Oh, there's magnifying glass on everything. Nice. We look at the other one. The organizer decided to enrich the lecture with a small thematic exhibition. The showcase is closed. Okay. There's a niche there. I'm taking everything with me. I'd like to look at it closely, but it's simply too high for me. I got a ladder. It's not a great idea. Ah, there we go. There's a mystery hidden in this chaotic inscription. Ah, uh, maybe I should make a fancy digression on it while delivering the lecture. The inscription pieces just need to be rearranged. Okay. Do I... Oh. Oh, it's a slider puzzle. Am I supposed to know what is the starting word for this? Is that English? It, it says it's Latin, though. This won't work. This won't work. Oh, shut it. If these two go together... This won't work. Gratis something. Gratis. This won't work. Yeah, yeah, I know. So it's, it's gratis. This won't work. Yeah, yeah, I know. This won't work. Mm 
gratis. This won't. This won't work. Yeah, yeah, no, shut. Gratis, acceptis. This won't work. This won't work. Date. Sorry, 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 sorry. I might have to move the top pieces a little bit. won't work. This won't. This won't work. Gratis. This won't. Oh my God! This has to be the other side. Oh. This is I got it. Everything done. This won't This won't This won't Okay, this is difficult. I'm gonna be doing this for a while. I need this to be on. This won't. This won't. This won't this won't work. This won't work. I think it's the confraternity's maxim. Hey. Ugh, I heard a grind. It gives me the creeps. Gratis accept gratis date. Is this important? I don't know what it means though. The bases of the columns turned slightly. Oh, you can rotate them. What? Really? Oh.
Okay. This this is it has to be a logic, but I don't know what that logic is. I don't understand the puzzle. This is a hint, isn't it? But I don't know what this means. A strong tie back. It can hold a lot of weight. I described my last amazing discovery in it. Scorpio ritual. That's the only two pages that she allows me to look at. Okay. A copy of the six. Okay, it's a copy of the map. An ancient coin with a the obverse is cut. Okay. Maybe I can come back to this later. I don't know what that means yet. Maybe I can ask someone. Oh wait, wait here. Maybe we'll talk later. Oh. No, we don't talk to him, okay. So we are supposed to just solve this puzzle, apparently. But I don't know how to turn the columns. Confused. Is there a hint for this? Sorry, I might have to look this up. I'm a bit confused. Okay, rotate the right column four times. Two, three, four, and twice. Well done, Sylvie. You okay. opened it. With such security, there must be something precious inside. There was only a handful of dry seeds inside. I think they traveled here inside the Conquistador's chest over 400 years ago. Oh, those are the uh, seeds from the fount uh, Fountain of Youth, like the Tree of Life, right? The plant that would heal them and stuff. Can you just keep looking at it? Okay. guy hey, wait a minute wait a minute Ms. Sylvie Leroux that's me Count Saint Germain asked me to have a brief word with you the count was supposed to meet me in person not this time he asked for the meeting himself okay hold on this is very familiar this is very familiar this dude's gonna die isn't it 
exclusive acquaintances. I thought he was Marcel. He's not Marcel. We saw a vision. It was the vision in the beginning. Shall I guess? How about a compromise? You won't be guessing, and I won't be answering. Anyway, I need to go. Wait a second. Tell me something about Saint Germain. In a word? A so were they trying to kill this dude or us? And that's all. No. They were I trying to kill us, isn't it? The mass people because of the what they're saying earlier. Take a look at it. The count is curious about your opinion. Am I to examine it? If possible. All right, but not today. I'm delivering a lecture. Yeah, see? This, 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 this is what we saw in the beginning. The, be the beginning cutscene was a vision. This person is probably trying to kill us and end up killing this dude. This death. It's horrible. I'm still shocked by what happened. It could have been me. It's probably was supposed to be you. That, Everything that... is lost. There was no other way. I had to cancel the lecture. Of course. This young I man. mean, there's a murder. Unfortunately, such a tragedy. Did he have any family? Everyone does. A wife, a child? The police haven't identified him yet, but he's alone. Like, I know he's a gondolier. I can Somebody tell that much. About him. I'll ask around tomorrow, but the carnival is no time for mourning. Someone just died. I'll be mourning however I want. In a few hours, she'll be willing to forgive him anything as long as he returns. Instead of him, an embarrassed police officer will come and inform her in a cold voice that... Uh, Everything is lost. No, not for her. And the Count? Is he waiting for him? Isn't he curious about the impression he's made with the chronometer? Uh, do you have the Count's phone number? No, nothing. I can only wait. I don't really know what for. You should go to bed. No way. I wouldn't be able to fall asleep to protect myself from everything that happened here. Barely two hours ago. Well, damn, just barely two hours ago? I'm not gonna take any speaking pills. I was pills. So surprised that my uncle needed to take them. You're young. You'll recover quickly. A bit of sleep. How are you gonna recover from seeing a murder happen in front of you? I'm still not over my uncle's death. Not much so less this ago, guy. A man with good intentions shot my uncle. Probably by chance. I believe that. Hmm, I read about that tragedy. People are like houses in a medieval city. When one collapses, the ones close to it start shaking. Uh, with all due respect, uh, the death of an old man isn't as depressing as that of a young one. Uh, how old do They're you both think depressing, you okay? Still, you can say that my uncle didn't die in vain. Something was saved back then. But why did the gondolier die? Maybe somebody was settling an old score. A jealous husband, perhaps? Anyway, it doesn't make sense. I'm still wondering if it wasn't me he wanted to kill. Oh, no, the killer had enough time to shoot again. Maybe he panicked. From what you said, it appears he was self-confident and not in a hurry at all. Is it a warning, maybe? That strange missile, the Curer poisoned arrow, almost grazed me. But you're safe now. I guess that's why you refuse to have any police protection. You're right. I just need to focus on something. That chronometer he gave me. Do you have it? Please don't give me away. I don't want the police to take it. There's always time for that. I'll take care of the chronometer. After all, it was his... Uh, what was his name? I don't know. His last wish. The chronometer needs to be cleaned, and I've seen various reagents and tools in that showcase in the meeting hall. May I use them? But how? The hall is sealed and we can't enter. I will find a way. Then I can't do anything, can I? Mm, I'd like to get inside myself. I left my documents on a chair. God knows when I'll gain access to them. They sealed it and left it just like that? And we're supposed to wait until they generously... Wait, the police just left? They sealed it and they didn't investigate? They just... Vamanos! What? What if we unstuck the tape, took everything we needed, and then stuck it back? You'd better not do that. You'd put yourself in trouble. I'll do it in such a way that nobody will notice. I doubt that's possible. You don't believe me. I'm an archaeologist, and restoration is my work. But you'll destroy the tape. No, I won't. I need to think it over in private. I won't disturb. 
The gondolier asked me to check the watch. I guess I should do that. And I'll do just that. A 19th century watch with an openable watch case. There's an engraving under the layer of dirt. Maybe I could use the reagents from that showcase to help me read the inscription. Okay, so I need to read that. I'll take a picture of this so I can restore it in a way that I won't uh, be noticed that I did anything. Okay, you need to take a photo for this first. Okay. I shouldn't be tearing this tape off. It's punishable by law. Oh, you wanted to tear it off, now you don't? Men always wonder why we need to carry so much stuff around in our bags, but they can't deal with simple tasks like these. Okay. I found a similar coin in Brittany. Is the murderer leaving his mark? Probably. The pro probably. The murderer is like leaving like a token and be like this. I killed them. He should be grateful I've recovered them. Okay. The showcase is closed. No can do. No can do. I don't have my wire anymore. I need to ask him for the... Uh... Or a key. So, suddenly lost my train of thought, but yeah, keys. I found your documents, but I can't open the showcases without the keys. I'm grateful for the documents. Uh, just a second. Uh, here, uh, these should be the ones. Thank you. I need to think it over in private. Okay. I won't disturb. Okay. I wasn't expecting a murder. I mean, I thought it was like what happened already, but it was a vision again. I should have known, but okay. Archaeological tools. They still look quite useful to me. Unfortunately, the key doesn't fit. Okay, I don't need them then. Okay. What do I do first? Do I? We need an alternative solution. No can do. We need an alternative solution. It's not a great idea. It's not a great idea. We need an alternative. Trial and error, they say. Think, Sylvie, think. Trial and error, they say. No can do. We need an It's not. Trial and error. We need an alter. No can do. I'm just trying to trial and error they say there's an engrave we need an alter thanks Sylvie this won't trial and error we need an alt we need an trial and error they say dip them the substance it's not we need an no can do. There's an in. Mm. We need an. This won't work. I can see an inscription, but it's soiled and I can't read it. Okay. Can I do this now? The inscription is clear now. 
The letters are too small for me to read. Uh, here. Mary Celeste, 1872. Benjamin Spooner Briggs. This chronometer belonged to the captain of the abandoned ship. Wait, that same abandoned ship that we have back in Brittany? Well, dang. The showcase. Oh, I can't put any of these back. Okay. We need an alt. At first glance, everything looks normal, and the first impression does matter. Awesome. Here are the keys. I've taken some tools and reagents from the showcase. Use them for as long as you please. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have you stuck the tape back on the door? I did. See for yourself. The police will never notice anything. Unbelievable. I know my stuff. I'm smart. You really are a professional. Yes, I am. I've deciphered the inscriptions. You will never believe who this chronometer belonged to. Not to Ponce de Leon, I suppose. You're joking, and it really is interesting. Yes, so whose chronometer was it? There are two inscriptions. Benjamin S. Briggs and Mary Celeste, 1872. My, my. That's no mean treat. As you know, the captain along with the whole crew of Mary Celeste vanished without a trace in 1872. Yes. Is that a real thing or is it just a game thing? I have to look it up. The drifting ship was spotted in the Atlantic by the De Grazia crew, about uh, 400 miles off the coast of Gibraltar. Everything on board was almost in perfect order, but they couldn't find any crew members. Uh, that must have been quite a spooky experience. Sounds spooky. This mystery hasn't been solved up to this day, although various theories have been put forward. None of them able to explain the mystery. Uh, did you know that a few years earlier, Briggs had come to Europe, uh, to Marseille reputedly, uh, though I've heard a hypothesis that to Italy as well. In any case, his chronometer reached as far as Venice. The captain might have left it on the ship. Mm, I know nothing about it, uh, but it seems that the personal belongings disappeared along with their owners. This means that Briggs didn't take it on the journey, and that's quite strange. That is strange. The story is strange. Yeah, he does have a point. Because of this whole confusion, I've forgotten to tell you I found a cache underneath the Latin inscription in the recess. The cache where the conquistador's chest was kept? Yeah. It seems so. It was empty apart from a few seeds. I also almost forgot to tell you something. Among the documents you've brought me from the meeting hall, there's a list of contents of that chest. From the times when it was stored here? Yes, the list comes from the 16th century. So, what's on the list? The same chest, kept under the care of the guardian, is about a cubit in length, made of rosewood timber. Its walls are richly ornamented with silver rosettes. Three metal dials connected with the lock were placed in the lid, which is strengthened with a decorative plate. The contents are a pistol, a ramrod, and a spanner. A jar made of Greek clay, decorated in the style of Cretan pottery, with two sprouts facing the opposite directions. The chest used to belong to Dons Ponce de Lant. Yeah. There's one thing I didn't find in the chest. The jug. A uniquely shaped jug, if I got it right. That's correct. There was a pottery fragment in the chest. A spout of a jug, to be precise. Hmm, it's possible that the damaged jug has been traveling around the world for some time. Uh, I've heard that someone from Cairo bought it. Can oh, you really? give me any details? None, I'm afraid. Uh, some people well, protect damn. such information like intelligence secrets, <laughs> and this is one of those cases. Ah, <sighs> tough luck. Maybe the auction house will know something. So that means I have to go to the auction house? Okay. You know what? Now that the chest was found, maybe it's worth exhibiting it again in the place it had been kept for so many years.
a terrific idea. Uh, we could combine it with a scientific symposium. Uh, for instance, uh, the role of legends in the discovery and conquest of the New World. I'll help you. I'll talk to the museum director. For the time being, however, a lot of strenuous work on that chest awaits me. I'm looking forward to the results. Along with investigating the death of Marcel and the gondolier. In the di Santa Croce. I'd love to. Although, I'm still shivering when I think of today's events. Yeah, I better be careful of poison darts. A man called. Uh, he wanted to talk to you. Who? Did he introduce himself? Uh, no, but uh, he'll call you again. Okay. I need to think it over in private. I won't disturb. Okay, thank you. Hello, Sylvie LaRue speaking. Count Saint-Germain. I intended to come there, but under the circumstances... So you know. Bad news spreads quickly. What about his family? Family? I do not know them. I cannot talk for long, therefore let me come to the point. I would like to commission you to do an expert analysis for me. It is crucial. Please take the tools and... How do you know there are the tools and reagents there? What reagents? What am I going to analyze? A painted plank. Please bring anything you find. Have you got the chronometer? Yes, yeah. he gave it to me just before his death. Then bring it as well, regardless of whether you have managed to examine it or not. I have. Really? Splendid. Please come to me as soon as possible. And the address? You will find it on the chronometer. Uh, on the chronometer, but I checked it carefully. There's no address. But there is. If what they say about you is true, you will know how to reach me. You mean an abandoned I'm not ship? So sure of that. I cannot say anything more. This telephone might be tapped, after all. Okay. Do be careful. If you have the impression that someone is following you, turn back. Be alert. I've almost gotten killed today. How about putting it off till tomorrow? It'll be much safer. On the contrary, tomorrow we may not have the chance to... Oh, we're meeting in secret. Okay. I'll try. Just remember not to okay. discuss the matter with anyone. Not even in the squalor. Fine. I am awaiting you. I need to see this man, if only to return the chronometer. Let's hope in that fact, the dude is good. To meet him. Let's hope the dude is not a bad so person. So the pottery fragment I've copied is the spout of the jug which was kept inside the chest from the 16th century. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Okay, nothing more to talk about from with him. Speaking of, I'm open, I'm curious about this. We need an. This won't work. Hmm. I guess I can't do anything with this. There are two engravings on the watch case: Mary Celeste, 1872, and Benjamin S. Briggs. Benjamin S. Briggs. This description probably comes from the 18th century. <laughs> Something's blocking. Trial and error, they say. Nailed up trap door. It's nailed. It's not a. Think, Sylvie. Think. Trial and error. If a feeling is down there, I just don't know how to go there. supposed to go there I'm a bit confused it's not a group no can trial and error think Sylvie think Sylvie think no can do it's not no can do I'm supposed to get through the trap door. Uh. 
Okay. I can't do anything with this yet. Up. I can go outside. Oh, there's a strutter. There's nothing in there. Okay, you can go outside apparently. Okay, it can go both ways. There's an empty gondola by the school of wall. The question is how to get on it. I'll need to drag it over somehow. I come here. Hey. Early. Calling me and that guy there is freaky. Hi, how are you doing? Great, aren't we, Bianca? We are not. It was a great when you decided to dive into the empty fountain. Everybody keeps saying that, but I actually don't remember any of it. Are no foe all over. So absent minded. What are you doing tonight? Tonight is going to be cultural. First, the archaeology lecture. Then, a conversation with the speaker. Several glasses of free wine. An autograph, a photo together. Then, some free wine again. Going to a restaurant with a newly met friends. A chance for more glasses of free wine. An unexpected encounter with some old friends. Time to switch to whole bottles. An unavoidable visit to the familiar ATM. And then, we go the whole hog. Or vaulting the canal. You haven't learned your lesson? You've already forgotten how you got stuck in the middle of the canal, hanging on an upright oar. Oh, I wasn't stuck. That was my strategy. No matter how many times you try, you'll never repeat that. We'll see about that. We'll see. Yeah. I'm suspicious of everyone wearing oh, you'd be a mask now. The older the gondolier, the harder the oar. So, how do you like our agenda for tonight? Very ambitious. Yeah. Super ambitious. Doing. Item one, off of the list. No free glasses of wine. Only one thing on your mind. No feast for the soul. They've canceled the lecture. How could they turn their backs on their loyal audience? I'm sorry about that. A there was murder a murder. Was inside. A murder? What happened? You could say somebody was shot. Horrible. I told you I saw the police. You also came here for the lecture? I yeah. am holding the lecture. Then join us. I can't. I've got an appointment at the... Oh, a priest? No, just an appointment. Oh, don't worry. Uh, maybe something will come of it. Yeah, I hope not. Have you heard of the Casa Celeste? You mean Palazzo Celeste? Palazzo. You've got to go down the canal. Straight, turn right, turn left, turn right twice. Turn right four times. You want her to go around in circle? That'd be fun, huh? Oh, hold on, what's your name? Sylvie. Like that archaeologist. But you know, it will be hard for you to catch an empty gondola. The boats are overcrowded. Unless you board the Vampiretto. You can try the drowning style. You jump from a bridge when a gondola passes by. The passenger starts screaming. The gondolier pulls you on board. Does it work? Not worth trying. The canal water stinks awfully. I know. A water segue would be ideal for Sylvie. You can do various sports here. But believe me, a bath in winter isn't the best idea. It's winter? And she's wearing this? Damn, girl. Are you not cold? One. How cold is it in the winter during in Venice? Is it really cold or just okay? And she'll be back to normal. Why poor? Haven't you heard? She was shot. <laughs> no, it wasn't her. She was going to promote her book. I'm still standing here. I'm right in front of you. I didn't get shot. A lunatic. Only a lunatic to shoot the people. He was preparing to go to a match when his editor told him to write an urgent review of a popular science book. 
He must have been a crime specialist. Since he knew how to Seriously. But that book he couldn't handle, so he did the only thing he You guys have a wild imagination, man. I'm alive! Damn it! Listen, that woman is alive. Yeah, I'm standing right in front of you. Let's celebrate. Wasn't she a Somebody else was killed, a gondolier. Oh, I had a feeling that we wouldn't catch a taxi tonight. Explain it to me, Bianca. Why would a reviewer shoot a gondolier? Would you read such a book? So, a gondolier was a writer too? No. Would you buy the book instead of a game? Me? Of course. I'd buy it and ask her to sign it for me. Ah, yeah, right. I know you. You'd be a flirting with her. I'd invite her out for a free glass of wine. I won't say no to that. What if you're drinking a free wine with her? <laughs> oh my god, lady, no woman, no reviewer shot me, okay? I've taken a life saving course. I'd give her a heart massage, a mouth to mouth. Ah, oh, foot massage would be best. Oh my god, they're insane. What kind of a life saver are you if you don't know what the map or the whole body is on the feet, eh? You wouldn't have to brutally press her heart. Her chest? You lecher. She's already experienced enough violence. You could find her heart area on her foot and gently press it with your thumbs, slowly. Ah, that's exactly how I'm going to rescue her. Well, I'll show you where it is. Oh, Sylvie, I can't. Maybe you could show it to him, eh? You know what? I'll get that book with an autograph for you. Just wait a moment. Cool. But don't worry if it doesn't work out. Three glasses of wine will do. Remember not to badger the lady. She's barely been rescued. She deserves some rest. I am the lady. Goodbye. See you in the city. Oh, for Bye. God's sake. You'll find us in the last open a joint. Tipsy, but a funny couple anyway. I'd like to have fun like them. There's another masquerader on the bridge. I'll go talk to him. I don't trust him. That dude is masked. Like, and cloaked. He looks exactly like the person who shot the dart and you walk over to him? What the fuck is wrong with you? You're on the bridge makes my skin crawl. It makes my skin crawl too. You know I'm a, I have a, a separate save. Okay. I will take a break here and then come back later to play more of this game. So for those of you watching me on YouTube, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.